Hey, my name is Kai Yuru. I'm a DVD content creator. And in this video, I'm showing off a build that's mainly based around add-ons. It's not really based too much around the personal. That's up to you on your choice. I'll explain why I choose what I choose. But this is Speed Zombies, and these motherfuckers can run across the map. You'll enjoy it so, so much. Before we get into what exactly I'm doing, if you're new here, give this video a try. If you like me or my style, honestly, so would be appreciated. That's all I'll say. Let's go into the build breakdown. So for the build breakdown, we're using four perks, Grim Embrace, we're using Plaything, we're using Pentimento, and we're using Discordance. All around, this is a good build, it is a slowdown build, and here's what it does. Grim Embrace, every time I hook a survivor, for the first time I hook that particular survivor, a blockage in for 10 seconds and takes a token. After I've hooked all four survivors one time, it'll block all the gins for 40 seconds, and I can see Obsession for 6 seconds. The Obsession part doesn't matter too much, the main thing is, this gives me time to not only do chases, but for my fellow zombies to be able to do chases during this time period. It'll be blocking gins, hopefully encourage survivors to move, and I will say, Grim Embrace, against the survivor perk Barbadic Inspiration, is a little bit tougher now. Um, there actually is counterplay to Grim Embrace, which is insane. But this is one of the better perks for a stall event. You could also swap this out with Dead Man's or Thrilling or anything else that would really block gens. But I recommend one of these. Next thing I use is Plaything, and Plaything makes it where when I hook a survivor, um, and for the first time, a totem will light up as long as there's doles. And that dole totem will make it to where they are oblivious, they cannot hear my terror radius until that totem is cleansed. Now we get in chase, they can hear the chase music, etc. But they cannot hear the terror radius, they can't hear any of that, They're, if they have the heartbeat on and won't be active until that totem's cleansed. They themselves can cleanse the totem for 90 seconds, after 90 seconds it opens up to other survivors. But that does start as soon as they're hooked, so keep that in mind. Third perk I have is Pentamento. So for every totem that's cleansed, I can bring it back to life. And for the first totem, it'll decrease survivor speed by 30% when it comes to repairs, then by heals, then by recovery, then for the fourth bonus exit, and then lastly, all totems will be permanently blocked. This one's really, really good as a stall tactic because you really only need the first hex totem. Other ones are nice. Other ones are nice. They are good. But basically, you just want the 30% repair speed debuff to survivors. That's what you're really aiming for. But if you want to wait till all five, you can go for it. But as soon as I get one, I tend to try and pop it up best I can. And lastly, Discordance. Now, Discordance is not really for me as much, but it is more for the zombies. The zombies can actually detect the Discordance um, alert and they will make their way over there and deal with survivors who are on more than one at a time. It is insane. So having that little bit of extra recon for the zombies helps me tremendously when it comes to my chases. I love to see it and it's awesome, man. Now for the add-ons. So for the add-ons, I have the yellow eye because I cannot pronounce that guy's name. Mikhail's? Mikhail's eye? And then I have depleted ink ribbon, and here's what they do. So, Mikhail's Eye, all this one does is it increases zombies' movement speed by 35%. This makes it where they can go on ahead and move. They already moved a decent speed. They stumble a bit. This makes it where they're going on a good old, like, I'd say, fast pace. And this turns it into a sprint. Decreases zombie respawn speed by 5 seconds. So, if they do die, if they get stunned, if I break them, they come back 5 seconds quicker. And increases zombie movement by 50%. So now you have a total of 85% increased zombie speed, which is pretty fast, and any zombies destroyed after all generators are repaired will respawn in the exit area. So not only do I go on ahead and have it to where they are 85% faster, they respawn quicker, and at the end of the game, I'll go on ahead and put them back at the exit gates. Beautiful. Offering, I always use BP, and yeah, onto the video. Cold one's good. We take cold one. And it's better than the Forgotten Ruins, the new D&D map, because Nemesis is a glitch there, and it is the most tragic thing. I'm literally too tall, my zombies' legs break. They like full on break. Now, to fix this, I recommend you make Nemesis short. You make him about a foot tall. Oh, there's a person here. Wait, are you behind? Oh, you are. Oh, that was extremely quick. I have lethal, guys. Beautiful. I guarantee you she's calling out. Lethal pursuer, lethal pursuer. Um, because it comes with the character, it makes sense. However, we're cooler than that. We have fun perks. Alright, door open. Sucks as we don't have infection yet, by any means, but we'll get it. Not too big of an issue. Beautiful. That's what we want right there. In a position where she can't really do all too much to help herself. Hello. And we play with the red light just a little bit. Not to get on her so this way, because otherwise she'd loop back to the pallet. I can't break the pallet yet. Not with my power. It'd have to be physically. She runs off to a different loop. And I get annoyed. Okay, I'm going to have to make it to this hook, because apparently I didn't see the other hook in front of me. Egg runs. Oh, she wiggles free. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, little man. I appreciate the work you're doing for me. I know you're doing good. I need your body. All right, come on, come on, come on. Can't see as well because of the map. 
We're gonna do the same thing. Get an injury. Make her desperate. Get a good infection. Play off of that. I have a zombie at Shaq, and if I can push him towards there, he actually may help us a decent amount, considering. Yeah, he just got active. He, in fact, did not help us a decent amount, chat. <laughs> We're gonna need you for now. So we're gonna get our infection rate a little bit higher. Looks like Shaq Jin is the closest to getting done, so I should be concerned about that a little bit. Beautiful. That's a good hit, man. Not to really play around Caltree as much as I want to. With no real repercussions. Ooh, must hit my shoulder. Nice on you. Caltree's gone. Probably your second most powerful loop. Debatably, they're most powerful. It's hard to say, because in my opinion, Killer Shack is easier than Cal Shed, but, or Cal Tree, sorry, not Cal Shed. Ah, oh, tried for a little sneaky play. Let's see what you got. No? Yep, duck. I didn't see her, so I just kept turning to hopefully to God I would see her. There was a good chance I was going to whiff that. Uh, one Pentiment is gone, which is good. Not Pentiment, sorry, plaything. Meaning that we can set up Pentiment in a moment here, and someone killed me. So we know they're at Shaq. Good Embrace always will take a second to kick in. It's not like the moment you hook somebody, it just auto kicks in. <laughs> Why are you screaming? But that's just the way of it. So a lot of times, if you're relying on it to save your gin, that's at like 99%. I would not recommend that, but. All right, little man. Nice. All right, another power gone. Apparently not, even though I want to cross it. Maybe because it didn't fully go across the guy? I'll like, maybe splintered it, in theory. Alright, they can come back here in a little bit, because this is now a dead area. They don't really have a reason to be here, nor do I. So we got our Pentamento set up. This way it can be just a wee bit slower in those generators. Survivors, even with like the Natophobia with the 2% debuff, survivors hate seeing Aaron debuff. It's actually insane. We need so one to go to to try and cleanse it. Or if, like fix it. It's so, like, honestly, we'll take it. I'm a little worried about that gen progress wise. I can go back, kick it, and try and save it, but honestly, I'd rather just have it down here. Yeah. <laughs> that seemed about right. <laughs> and we did lose that gen, that's okay. Uh, Grim Brace is just stalling for us right now. Huge. And we're probably gonna try and build up infection just for a little bit. Now, you detect someone, which I like that, and you're keeping up with them pretty damn well, from what I can tell. They went in the sloop, you're saying? You think they went this way? They go in the lockers, you think? Hello? I'll try and- I normally only check one locker, I'll stay outside the second one. See, they pop out real quick. Oh, he's gonna check it, he's gonna check it. They don't always, but it's worth- it's worth taking a little look at. Pentamento's now gone, so gen repair speed is normal again. Normalized. I'm coming in. Hello. Huge hit for us. Interesting playstyle. The pathing's different than I would expect, but I mean, whatever works for you, I guess. Okay. Not quite sure why on that, but sure. They do have boil over, so you gotta be a little cautious about that. The good news is we actually don't have to go downstairs at all. There's a conveniently placed hook right here. Love to see it. And then the zombies are blinding her. Like, I think they're trying to just deal with the discordance. Poor guys. <laughs> it makes sense that you can blind a zombie. Uh, I think, unfortunately, poor Sable has given up. I'm just trying to get down the stairs currently, but we all have our own problems. Should we have also just accidentally missed a skill track? Because I think she's hitting him now. Ada! Oh. They did well to run past a zombie like that. I'm not seeing anyone on the gin currently. I'm guessing you stuck to this area. Yeah, you just ran past a zombie again. All right, let's stick straight to you then. Cause I know the gin's gonna be fine for at least a little bit. Not forever, but sometime.
Now you know I play red light tricks. Who used to say no? Nice. Got another plaything broken. It was. I did get the save on the stable, so yeah, she's still in it. To be honest, I really don't want to chase this Ada. I got a pout out of the way that I wanted, and I would rather chase this stable right here, personally. Who has the blood map? Let's see what you got. The blood map is a very powerful tool. I mean, like, very powerful, man. Beautiful. Tier 3. Like what we like to see. She's going to her shack, which is a dead area for me. I mean, that I would rather chase the person right here now, which is Ada once more. I'm gonna kick this. I guess Ada a decent distance, yes. But it is what it is. I'll get up more Pentimentos here in just a second. Why not so much scared? There's no pout over here. We used that earlier, which is beautiful. I can just stick on her as a basic M1. I'm gonna do that because I don't want to give her window. She is a strong looper against me, at least. Um, in general, I'm not quite sure, honestly, because I only know what's against me. <laughs> But that was good. All right, that's your second hook. Soon, I want to get a Pentamentos. Means I'll be currently one of chairs. Try to move them off the best I can. Oh no, no! I'm sorry, my child. No, <laughs> that should have been a one too. I can't see him anymore, chat. He's in the locker. I'm hoping that zombie gets him. Avenge me. Damn shame. Nice job, though. Nice play, nice play. Let's get a basic entry here. I think he went this way. Oh, I just had a transition moment. I said it, man. I said it. I like him. I like the items. Uh, air is still on hook. I've run the other two for a while now. I need that. Which I'm showing you exactly where Pinsman is simply because I really don't care. And that table's on the run. Ada died on hook because this person tried to commit to this gym. Which the soda actually just denied them. <laughs> they probably could have stuck it. I really think they could have. That's actually insane that they chose to almost, I'm saying almost finish a gym and then get their friend. All right, let's get a second tier of Pentimento real quick. So the healing tier is now in fact. I imagine they're gonna double straight to that gin, and I think I can make it in time. I really do. It'll take about nine seconds, roughly. Now you're running for your life. If Nick does whatever he wants to do, I don't really care. Hello. Thank you for the pallet. I'm actually leaving you. I'm just gonna break down the way out. That's not regress anymore. <gasps> the noise. <laughs> he said. <laughs> Alright, get out of here. Thanks, zombies, for covering me. Alright. And then she's dead, so meaning the only person that's left is an injured sable I've yet to hook, who's somewhere in mid, most likely. I would say understandable. I don't know what kind of stuff we're doing in this corner, but we just got one left. I don't know if I should hook on this one in particular. I'm probably going to. I think it should be safe. I'm looking for my zombies right now to see, are you getting any activity? Now, I believe Hatch is at Shaq this game. So we're gonna play off the idea that's gonna spawn probably in this back side here. What about here, maybe? Love it. Adrenaline user, that's fine. Oh, uh, well, the zombies are by door. Other ones here. That door I have under lock and key. Now, the good thing about the ribbon is ribbon makes it where the zombies will spawn pretty quick at the exit gates, like inside of them. That may not benefit me too heavy, but it may help me slightly. Wait, I thought I saw scratch marks this way. Could be wrong. Could be very much deceived. Looks like there's a good chance I was. Could have sworn I saw him for just a second, perhaps. 
Okay, we're gonna hope we're gonna hope I can make it to you in time. I think I have the time of day. Get over here, kid. If they get out through the doors, it's not too big of a deal. I'd rather stop them if I can, but if they get out, it is what it is. Which door are you at? Did they double up? No, they didn't. Interesting. Oh, there she is. I wondered. I bet she wants to say the blood map, honestly. Oh, insane. Chat, I have a dumb idea. Hold up. Let's let her try for the door. Let's let's make it look like, oh, hey, I'm not going to make it. I'm curious if the zombie can finish her off. Let's keep running by killer check or something. Is she on it? She's not. Ah, she's gonna choose to die by timer. Ah, oh, damn shame. Let's open to the zombie who was just waiting at the door to be like, hello. It's nice to see you. Oh, GG's. Anyways, I hope you like the build. I like it a decent amount, personally. I think Sable over there, she's loving it, screaming out in joy for it. But yeah, you guys have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.